something I've been thinking about around when people talk about the New Deal, um, they often say, but, but yeah, but it failed, right? It failed because actually it didn't pull the U.S. into a growth position. So because and because we define failure as anything short of growth, right? Um, and we define success, a successful economy as an economy that's in a boom, you know, we all know the narrative, right? Yeah. It wasn't the New Deal that pulled the, that ended the, 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 the Great Depression. It was the Second World War, the post-war boom. That was also what set off suburban sprawl and, and, and a level of consumption that is at the heart of the climate crisis. So did, and, and I always kind of accepted this idea that the Green, that, that the New Deal failed, but I guess, I want to ask the economists, like, did it fail? Because it did create jobs and it pulled a lot of people out of poverty. Do we have to start telling people that it didn't fail? Of course it didn't fail. <laughs> no, I agree with, I agree with Giannis. No, well, I, I did not say that it failed at all. to the descendants of, of, of the millions of people. <laughs> and people talk that way about Japan today. I was just going to say, Stephanie, talk to the descendants of the millions of people. Oh, okay, go. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I think you could probably talk a lot more about that. I was just going to say, you know, it's in some ways it reminds me of the discussion that we keep hearing about Japan today, that um, Japan has, you know, been growing very slowly, has very uh, low inflation, uh, you know, usually around 1% or less than 1%. And somehow we've decided, we, you know, uh, the profession, academic uh, economists in particular, policymakers, that Japan is is is, uh, is a, a fail. It's it's a failure that they don't have rapid growth. And I and I go to Japan and I look around. The, everything is beautiful. The infrastructure is is first rate. Things work. People are happy. You know, it's it's not evident that uh, that Japan is experiencing deep economic difficulties. Uh, it's just that people have decided that economies are supposed to grow faster than 2% and inflation is supposed to be a little bit higher. And if you don't achieve those metrics, then somehow, you know, it's, it's viewed upon, it's viewed as a, as, as a failure in some sense, failure of policy. Just a, a quick snippet. Um, I think I have the right to speak on this matter because I'm calling you from, uh, the epicenter from ground zero of austerity and of the debt spiral that you were des describing, mm -hmm. Stephanie. Um, here, our 1933 moment came in 2014, you know, three years after our 1929 moment, which was, you know, uh, in 2011 uh, here in Greece. We already had lost 28%, 25% of GDP, right? Um, now, if there was a new deal at that moment and things had stabilized and started improving on a per capita basis and people actually, you know, had fewer wrinkles on their faces and could sleep at, at night without worrying how, you know, what kind of day they would have the next morning, that would have been a majestic success. And we didn't have that. We had a continuation of the downward spiral, which we still have today. So if the new deal did for Americans, that we, we, you know, the, the favor that we um, man, failed to provide to our people in 2014, it was a major success. Also, soil conservation, uh, the, the, the sense of community, yeah. all those intangibles yeah. that effectively stopped America from becoming a fascist country. Mm -hmm. uh, America would have become a fascist country without the, the New Deal. How do you measure the value of having avoided fascism? Hmm. 